Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on calculating bounds of a number rounded to a given number of decimal places. We've got this problem here. A number is rounded to 5.72 to two decimal places. Find the lower and upper bound. And what that means is we want to find, for example, the lowest number such that when we round it to two decimal places, we get 5.72. So for example, we could have had, I don't know, 5.716. And if you were to round that to two decimal places, then where well, we look at two decimal places, we check the digit after, is that five or more? Yes, so that one goes up to two and you get 5.72. So certainly that is a number which rounds to 5.72 to two decimal places. But what's the lowest that we can go? Now, do you remember the strategy in the previous video was to add or subtract half the accuracy? So to get bounds, then we add or subtract half the accuracy. Now in this particular case, the accuracy is we're rounding it to two decimal places. Now we could think of that accuracy as 0.01 because we're rounding to the nearest 100th if we're rounding to two decimal places. So if we divide that by two, then we get 0.005. So if we add or subtract that half accuracy to 5.72, 5.72 plus 0.005, we can see that's going to be 5.75. And when we subtract half the accuracy, that's going to be 5.715. Now indeed, when we round this number here to two decimal places, we look at the first two digits, is that five above? Yes, so that goes up to two. That would be 5.72 to two decimal places. And that can't be any lower, because if it was 5.714, then you would actually get 5.71 to two decimal places. You might be thinking, well, this number to two decimal places is 5.73, not 5.72. But that's because this number is effectively 5.7249 recurring. Now, if we were to round that to two decimal places, we look at the first two digits, look at the one after, is that five or more? No, so that rounds down to 5.72. But the thing is, we can sort of prove that that's the same as that. So even though this rounds to 5.73, we actually imagine a number just infinitesimally close to it, but just below it. And the kind of trick that works 90% of the time is that whatever your number is, if you've got 5.72, if you just shove a five on the end, that gives you the upper bound. And if you drop the last digit by one, so you get 5.71 and shove a five on the end, that gives you the upper bound. And that's a quick way that works most of the time.